and she tweeted saying that she was completely overwhelmed because she was finally able to fit into a size six dress and uh, she said and I quote for the first time in my life I feel and know I look good I just cried trying my dress on um, and I can understand why and it's been a, a very long journey for her and um, you know I, I I can imagine for her, maybe that was her goal. But it got us talking this morning about does size matter? And this must resonate with you a lot, obviously, Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> and we were interested to know, we were all asking you this morning, did you have a goal? Like, I want to be a size 12 mm. or a size 14 or whatever. I've never, ever once had a goal because I didn't even actually think I'd lose a stone. And here I am, you know, I'm, I'm approaching my 11 stone. So I know exactly... <laughs> really embrace what she's saying that you know that that weepy moment I had it two weeks ago I was telling you girls before mm. wasn't I you know all my life I have seen all my girlfriends all my family wear jeans okay now when I played the scruffy characters I play they put me in like the most horrendous jeans that are there for a reason and I just looked horrendous because you've got to have a certain body shape anyway lo and behold I went online ordered them it's like and I put them on and they fit and they look really nice and they were tight and they were <laughs> tear in my eye moment and it's everything's a milestone you know and and I'm going through it daily I never ever for one second thought I'd be sat here with you in this dress you know and and yeah, it's it's incredible amazing. you know and and clothes are such an impact you know when we say does size matter it does because it makes you feel good you know when you look in the mirror and you go I got in yeah. it it fits and I but it's a way it's a label though isn't it yeah she just mm. should be able to say yeah. I've put this dress on and I feel great not yeah. like oh it's a size six yeah. and there will be people of course and I'm interested if this has happened to you going oh she's gone too far now yeah, oh, I've got a friend who you know was quite large and lost a lot of weight over the years and and she lost quite a few friends because then people did that you used to be such fun and so bubbly and really patronizing yeah, yeah. 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 that's true drives me mad yeah. I was, saying, I was saying to my friends on the weekend, I said, you're making me feel like a chicken in the oven. You're yeah. staring at me, yeah. honestly. And stop monitoring how, how far I've been cooked. Yeah. You know, what will be tomorrow will be tomorrow and week after. But then, again, it's a bit like the Grand National. I've got over so many hurdles, right? I haven't got a finish line. There isn't one. And maybe, you know, people want me to fail and it's like, oh, I should put a few pounds on. No, but I People have already said to you, oh, it's Always. too much. Stop yeah. now. Oh, you know, oh, don't. It won't be you. You know, you're... of course it's me. I'm the same person, you know. <laughs> Oh, don't you think you look ill? It's like, do I look ill? I think I look all right, actually. <laughs> it's all it's all those things. And rather than, like you said, it's a, you, you, women can be the worst enemy sometimes. Yeah. Don't don't want me to fail. Just go, you are what you are. If you get smaller, you do. If you get bigger, you do. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Just embrace that it's an achievement I did. I've succeeded. And long may it last this healthy lifestyle that yeah. I've created for and myself. That, that's, that's the key. Yeah. Yeah. If you lost a tremendous amount of weight, but you look healthy yeah. and you still admit that you're a curvy woman and you're mm. proud of your curves. Absolutely. And I think the idea of trying to squeeze into a small size, you're going to look fat yeah. just because you look like your clothes don't fit. What I mean, about I, when you were a model? I mean, you know, models, it's all oh about gosh, what size you are, isn't but, it? But then you're kind of throwing yourself into the pit there aren't you I mean that that's that's that industry and it's horrible like that I eventually found a niche where they accepted me from for who I was a broad shoulders more athletically built mm. but um I always find I just went shopping yesterday picked up a, a three sizes because I didn't know how the shop was going to come in sizes you know I I picked up a 10 a 12 and a 14 and guess what I walked away with 14 mm -hmm. because I I tried the 10 on and I I thought I can get in it but that wasn't the point I actually looked like I was too big for the dress so when I put the 12 in I thought that's probably sensible but I actually liked the looseness of the 14 and it made me look slimmer you so hear I didn't, women it, cutting it, out it, labels well, don't just you? Say, we've had loads out. and loads of comments on this as you might imagine but Penny I always cut the size tag out of my clothes as I don't want to be put it put off wearing what I like I, I mean I kind of get that but I don't understand the size thing because if no. I when I shop each shop has a different size oh, so yeah. you know that size might fit me in that shop but then I try that size on in another shop and it's way mm. too small yeah. which is why I'm always an advocate for you dress for your singular yeah. body yeah. you know yeah. I'm sat here with Penny Lancaster model she's 14 it's like I've grown to 14 as well <laughs> you know it's, it's all that and yeah, it's but like let's be honest you would much rather let's be honest wouldn't you much rather 
I believe most of my friends would agree with this. If you're in a changing room, I would much rather say, excuse me, have you got this in the smaller size yeah. than the bigger, if we're really honest? Because, yeah. it, you know, it, feel the you feel better it, yeah, feel when them. something you go, oh, this is a bit big rather than, oh, this is too tight. And even though, you know, at 56 years old, I go, I should be over that. It shouldn't matter. Yeah. I still have that little somewhere in the back of my mind yeah. where it does annoy me if I've got the size and it doesn't fit and I have to go up a size. Yeah. Shouldn't I, do, I, I, but I it does. I the idea of being able to get back into an outfit that maybe I had before kids. Like, we'll go, oh, you, you, mm. you know, you've had that dress for a while. So, yeah, before children. I'm, I'm proud of that. But the size thing, I still don't get the size thing because it's, it's really about the way you look in your outfit. So, it, I think well, it's, it's, it's about, about how you target, feel, though, isn't it? Because uh, um, someone's emailed in, Emma, Tina is Tina again, Tina Malone, gone, gone from one extreme to another. I applaud her weight loss journey, but I think it's become an obsession now to conform to society's idea of a perfect figure. Um, for you, Lisa, where do you stop? Not you personally, yeah. but every, where do people stop? Does well, it become an, Can it become an obsession? Yeah, and I, I know where she's coming from. And of course, like you said, when you're getting the feel-good messages, but am I going to go back to eating a full bowl of pasta and garlic bread for my dinner? Probably not, because I, I get full so much quicker now. Yeah. I really do. So my body goes, OK, stop now. I never grab the crisps. I don't grab the chocolate. You know, of course, the alcohol thing, I'm still, you know, not drinking. Like, my mates are going mental, saying, have one, have one. And, and maybe there might be a day when I go, on, I'll have a glass of red then. For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.